Good afternoon, Mark Sutter with HurricaneTrack.com here with your Hurricane and Hurricane HD video blog for the 14th of November 2012, only a couple of weeks to go, and the hurricane season will be done. Today we have out here a comma-shaped storm system, a very telltale sign that this is non-tropical in nature. Probably has some good gale force winds up here in the northeast quadrant, but it is not of tropical origin, still probably a little windy uh, near Bermuda. And this storm system will move on up to the north and east towards the Canadian Maritimes and Atlantic Canada. So folks up in Nova Scotia and Newfoundland will want to keep an eye on this. It will grow in intensity, it looks like, as it moves north. But again, it's not tropical in nature, so the Hurricane Center uh, not issuing any statements on it. It might take on more subtropical characteristics over the next day or so, but I doubt it. We'll see. Then we have this stalled frontal boundary and the associated cloudiness over the east coast here the southeast keeping things rather cloudy and gray and a little moist out there a little damp sort of a gloomy november day looking at the gfs and the euro first the gfs over the next several days we have this developing storm system this is on day four it's going to happen right here off the carolina coast with strong high pressure moving out of canada up here creating a pretty tight pressure gradient between the two and that'll create a really stiff onshore flow, piling up the water, creating large waves. Great for surfers, not for beach restoration efforts for sure. At day five on the GFS, the storm system fairly well offshore here. Uh, this is the difference between it and the Euro, which I'll show you in a moment. Still have that strong high sitting up over uh, the northeast part of North America. And the squeeze play between the two right through here we have that really stiff onshore flow, uh, maybe 30, 40 knots of wind, but it's going to be blowing over a, uh, at least a thousand miles of ocean, and that'll really start to pile up the water, give you some big waves, and that's going to be the big problem, even if this doesn't bring much precip or other sensible weather to the coast, the proximity of this storm to the coast will make it rather unpleasant uh, as people try to clean up along the hurricane battered east coast here all the way down to the outer banks of north carolina included then at day six the storm very large in size huge envelope of low pressure uh and once again with that high sitting up over the northwest atlantic you get very strong winds coming around because of that gradient and you don't see any precip to speak of none of the greens or blues which is your six hour previous precipitation totals showing up along the coast as the storm is well offshore. Now this is in pretty stark contrast to the Euro, which we'll look at in a moment, especially at day seven. Look how far out the GFS has the system here at day seven, uh, elongated oval-shaped area of low pressure uh, with the center of it south of, well, we'll call it right along 60 degrees of longitude, just east of there, actually. So let's take a look at what the Euro shows at day four. Yes, we do have the system starting to form right here off the Carolina coast. That is where the two models agree. Day five, the GFS has it already more offshore. The Euro much closer to the southeast of Hatteras here with a pretty strong onshore flow. Day six, whereas the GFS wants to go ahead and start handing the energy out into the open Atlantic, the Euro keeps it much closer to the mid-Atlantic states. And you can see that wind flow coming around, a combination of this large dense area of high pressure over the North Atlantic and the developing low pressure here you get that onshore flow so both models are showing that but the Euro being closer to the coast that could present more precip and a little bit higher wind problems than at day seven and as I mentioned the uh, GFS has the storm system way out here just east of 60 degrees of longitude and look at the Euro it's way back here much closer to the mid-Atlantic states with a strong band of northeast winds coming in to the mid-Atlantic and east coast of the United States. So we're going to watch this still a week away, but big travel week. Thanksgiving coming up next week. A lot of people are going to need to know what's happening with this system, so stay tuned. Be sure to check out weather.gov for your local forecast. Just put in your zip code and you can find all sorts of great information, especially as this storm starts to unfold. Again, I am Mark Suttoth, HurricaneTrack.com. Thank you for watching today. I'll have another video blog for you tomorrow.